Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, back with another one, and this is episode number four, and in the previous episode, we were creating our first interactive program, which is going to be taking in input from the user, and we display it. Now, I'm going to show you uh, something that you might encounter as a problem in the near future. Let's say you're not entering one word, you're entering a line. And then now in this case, let's say we only wanted to work with your name. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to say, please enter your name. And then I wanted to appear on the same line. So after doing this, I can say name. And then I'm going to show you the error first. See out. Uh, name and uh, let's uh, have our end line okay now let us compile this this is the wrong way of doing it only if you are going to add your name with two let's say you're having more than one name one one name uh, like uh, Kelvin and your second name is John so if you do that, you see it will only pick up Calvin. It will cut out everything that comes up. Once it starts seeing a white space, it's going to cut everything that is, is there. So for you to solve that, what you need to do is that you need to use what we call a get line. So instead of you using uh, a, a see in object, you need to use it with a get line. So what you're going to do, you're going to say get line. First, uh, so it's small letters, and then you're going to see C in, and then you specify what you want to see in. So this should be able to solve the issue. If I compile here and I run it again, Kevin, John. Now, in this case, it's no longer ignoring what comes after the comma. So that is what you must look out for. In the previous episode, it is correct in order for you to just do see in. And the way that we did it, it's correct for you to just do see in. And then you do the forward arrows and then you write name. But that you should only do it if whatever line that you are inputting only has got one word. But if it's got a space in between or you're reading a phrase, it's gonna cut out everything that comes after it. So in order for you to sort out that, you need to use what we call a get line. So that is what I wanted you to, 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 to look out for and uh, always make sure that whenever you write your code, you're always careful of that. And that is it from me. Till the next time we drop and cheers.